those two Grail NES games. Which you said you have a surprise for us on a potential lead, so... Yes, I do. I just picked these up. Pretty cool deal today. Travis is trying to grow his vintage clothing collection. What is Travis getting? That's the question. It's a 1995 Donkey Kong Country 2 long sleeve on the marina tag. And then Travis was like, hey, do you have anything I like colorful? You know, and I thought this one was very fitting of him. It's the Mario uh, Madness Nintendo 1989 single stitch. Screen stars tag. Let me put a cheat check that bad boy out too. That looks like you. Yo, we're literally at this convention. We've been here for what, like, I don't know, five minutes? So, and Jar fair. Jared's already buying a VHS. Maybe. What are you getting? So I can't remember if I have Ghoulies or not, but uh, Ghoulies is a really cool movie. I don't think I have it, I'm buying it. Whatever, let's see how much it is. He's gonna buy it. What you have something in your hand at Dirt Road Games booth. <laughs> I haven't even bought a video game yet. <laughs> um, Dude, this is like one of my favorite movies ever. Oh, there, look at this guy. Have you seen Boys in the Hood before, Caleb? I can't say I have. Oh, man. Dude, Cuba Gooding Jr., Ice Cube, and Lawrence Fishburne. So I'm gonna pick this up. This is one of my favorite soundtracks too. So I mean, and I've been collecting hip hop tapes. Um, so I'll put this in my boom box. So in your boom shout box. Shout out to Dirt in Road Games. Insert a clip of Jared with boom box here. This is sealed. So this has never been played before. This is brand new. Uh, and this is a very happy day for Eric as a Nintendo Switch collector. Just knocked a grail off the list. And not only that, it's a fantastic game. One of the best on the Switch for beat-em-ups. It's Game Jam South, baby. We're here. Jared, are we here right now? We are here. We're here. So, Jared, what are you going for? What's next? There's two Grail NES games. Which you said you have a surprise for us on a potential lead, so... Yes, I do. So. Okay. So, Eric is debating buying something because he's yeah. being a cheap... Well, this is a, a PG channel, so we'll keep it PG family. You know, I picked up River City Girls. That kind of cleaned out my budget. I told myself I had a strict number, and this was kind of it. But I saw earlier a Legend of Dragoon uh, PlayStation 1 promo pen. I like buttons because I'll wear them on my book bag straps and everything. And so um, Legend of Dragoon is a classic JRPG from my childhood. Uh, my parents wouldn't buy the game for me, so I played the demo for the longest time. So uh, this guy's got this pin though. It's really cool. How and much? I think I might get it. Uh, 30 bucks on it. We're gonna shoot him off for at 20. Let's see what happens. Then I need to get cash then. All right, so I got cash in hand right now. Let's go make a deal for that Legend of Dragoon uh, pen. I stole this from Pac-Man Case. He got a little so deal. What's yeah. going on, I got Eric? Legend of Dragoon, a promotional pen. This is gonna display right here on my book bag with pride. So I really appreciate you for helping me out, man. What'd you just get from Two Dudes Gaming? Yeah, yeah, so we're at the homies uh, booth. I've been collecting NES, and this is actually one of the games I've wanted. It's called Yo Noid. Um, it's a really awesome platformer. It's the Domino spokesperson, so Domino's Pizza. And uh, this is their game, and it's just really a uh, goofy platformer, adding it to the NES collection. All right, Jared, what do you have? Yo, check this out. It's a Sonic Pico game. This is like the shell for it, but look how amazing this artwork is. Can you describe for the crowd what is a Pico game? You know what? I'll let you describe what a Pico is. Like you have the leapfrog, cards. but better. Uh, it is a Sega. If I mean, it's it's almost a Sega. So it's the Pico by Sega. You put in the little cart books, play through, and then you select little mini games, little functions. This is a music maker, Tales music maker. But if you flip that one open, so keep in mind, small children are what the Pico is for, yet you can't have a small children game complete without 
slot machines. You know, got to start Beautiful. them young. So cool. Yeah, th this is this is definitely the presentation of this system or whatever. It's just really great. And um, shout out to Sega. So I was admiring this really rare Splash Bulls vintage 90s hat. I do collect Bulls hats. I have a lot of cool ones. I got the sports specialties. I got the shark tooth. And Keith just gifted me this. And I will 1,000% rock this all the time. I'm a, huge, I'm a huge Bulls fan. I have a Michael Jordan tattoo. Like, yeah, yeah. And who, who is Thank Keith? You, can way, you man. introduce Yeah, you? Keith <laughs> is the pick and preacher. You can just the be pick like and preacher. The pick and preacher. Uh, two shirts for you guys. There is, and you guys can pick. I'm, I'm letting you pick. But pull that uh, kind of off white one right there. This one. Okay, so pull it out. You see, that's sweet. Is, that's the Stussy that I was talking about. I'll, I'll call it Stussy. Is it Stussy or Stussy? It's, it's, it's Stussy. Your guess is as good as yeah. mine. Okay. Um, so, I mean, if, if we're picking here, I would love this shirt. Which Stussy is a Christian company. I so I never knew that, but also, this is a vintage Stussy. This is from the 90s. This That's is... Right. Single, single dingle? Sing, yeah. A single dingle. Single dingle. Thanks, dude. Well, I'm not going to hug you, bro. Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. I appreciate you, no, bro. Appreciate you, <laughs> Such a this nice is... moment here. Vintage t-shirts. We all know I love vintage t-shirts. He has this pretty sick MC Hammer too That's legit. Uh, too legit quit. To quit. Dude, look at the back hit too. Yeah. So we are at a video game convention though, and I'm collecting NES. I do see Base Wars, which is a game I want. I heard it's a really good baseball game. If I buy the shirt, would you throw this in? Thousand percent. Thousand percent. You got a deal, oh, man. I got cash money too. So. so Jared, what deal did you just make? Yep, so I'm buying the two legit to quit MC Hammer shirt, single stitch. This is where Jared has a nerd vintage t-shirt. I think I think like mid-90s, like 95, 96. I think that's when the song came out too. Yeah, I got in for free uh Base Wars. Uh, for the NES. NES, good baseball game. So cool. Let me pay you. Okay, guys. So I had it. I came here wanting two specific NES games: Swamp Thing and Contra Force. Bangers, right? Guys, I told you I had a surprise. I had a lead on the games the whole entire time, and I just picked these up: Contra Force and Swamp Thing, and I got a really great deal on them. 275 for both of them. That's clean. And look how clean they are. I mean, these are so minty, too. They actually look like repos. They're so nice. But having said that, if I was going to buy reproduction games, these ones would be reproductive. <laughs> it's not like this is like a $30 game. So, but yep. Yeah, so, uh, dude, this is a really good game. I would say Swap Thing isn't a great game, but Contra Forks is a great game. It's the third in the trilogy for NES. Run and gun shooter. What but, do they think? But Ask you're going them. against what? Terrorists, not aliens, right? Yeah, it's, Is that essentially... Don't get me lying, I haven't played Contra Force because I can't even play the first Contra. Because it's, like, it's so games. hard. Yeah, terrible. In fact, it's actually a little bit... I think it's easier than Contra, if I remember right. It's a little bit easier and it's like... That was the thing, is it was like a better game. It's harder to find. <laughs> yeah, harder to find. It came out later in the NES career, so this is the last one of the series before Super Nintendo came out. Yeah, and the Swamp Thing itself is a big one, too. It's like, it's not the best game to play, but it's a hard one to find. Dude, look how cool the cover is, though. And that alone's worth it. That's a lot, yeah, just to look at it. Oh. So, do I, I kind of look like Swamp Thing a little bit. Andy, this is pretty sick. I've been looking for this. Where did this come from? How did this get to the New All right, Tavern? so originally when I came into the store, it was just sitting in the back, and I was like, do you guys know what that is? And they were like, well, yeah. And I said, where did it come from? They're like, oh, NES had it. They were like, so when he was like, kind of limiting the stuff that he wanted, that one came into the store. It, it's really clean. I've been looking for this forever. You have, 250 on it. Yeah. Are you pretty firm on that? I mean, it goes for 300, dude. So I don't know. Uh, Someone wants 400 on eBay for it, right? Now. Man. So, do you know what they call me around these parts? Lowball Jerry. Oh, I thought it was poopy pants. Oh, and poopy oh, pants. No, <laughs> that's what my mom called me growing up. But 
let me ask you this. Low ball Jeremy. Okay, you got 250. 250. Eric is willing to trade this red PS4 controller for some credit. Would you do 220? 220. It, you're, so you're telling me. A fellow pack rat. You're telling me that this is worth $35? <laughs> Wait. Smells like a young boy. <laughs> I can hook you guys up. Okay. Thank you for the controller. So 220 is going in your house, right? Oh, yes. oh, oh, wow. oh, oh. I've never done a triple handshake. Before. Oh, man. So, Steve, this has been a long time coming. Steve really wanted a new cool Saturn theme shirt and you were like what shirt were you looking on ebay okay so i have been looking for old vintage shirts and one that caught my eye was a sonic 3d blast shirt it's a sega shirt sega genesis shirt it's a sega saturn shirt and it's a game gear shirt all in one i'm selling him this shirt to him because i just bought a nintendo cabinet from um Pac-Man case. Ooh, yeah, I did. Did buy, you? I bought that cabinet. Oh man! All so, right. All right, I, here, there we go. So I, you didn't buy it off me off the back, but it wasn't the most successful of the bunch. But it was a but fun it, game. It's a, it's right. a cool day, and it's one of the first three D platformers. So, so let Sonic, me tell you right? too. Um, one of the best Sonic soundtracks, uh, especially on the Saturn. We're, so we're back in the game. Back in the game. Thanks, dude. Cool. Awesome, buddy. Love you. Ladies and gentlemen, we picked up this hot Diablo 2 battle chest here at, uh, I forgot where I'm at. Uh, wait, who are you anyway? My you name's... Even, are you Suck Sucks? <laughs> My name's Vux Vux, or Vux, or Vux Collects. <laughs> Vux Collect? Yes, like sir. It. You got a new channel brand here. I do. So I grew up playing Diablo 2, it got me into PC gaming, so I had to get that. Oh. 